Welcome back to the results and explanation of the test. So remember, I did the first part, which was a blind test. I did the blind test because I didn't want the brand names or perceived lens manufacturers to distort or maybe skew your perception of what you were actually looking at. So we have the Metabones Ultra coming in at $649, the Viltrox at $130. And before you sit there and think, oh, well, you happen to get that one Viltrox, that's good. Well, I bought two Viltrox and I tested them against each other. They're 99.9% .9 identical in image reproduction. But I've also heard things about Metabones. Sometimes you get a bad Metabones. So maybe that's the case. But for this test, I would definitely say that the Viltrox that I have is representative of whatever people consider a quote unquote, a good Viltrox. And in regards to the lenses, I use the Sigma 18 to 35, which is a renowned sharp, sharp lens. And I put them against two micro four third native lenses that are prime, that are just amazing. The SLR Magic 25 millimeter 0.95 is an amazing cinematic looking image. The Voigtlander 17.5 millimeter 0.95 aperture is a renowned legendary lens for the micro four thirds uh, it's they're both amazing images i've used those extensively uh, this test does not dis discount any of their images this is just to this is the second part to explain to you and to show you maybe sometimes uh, you, you know your perception is wrong based on marketing and perceived value in the prices so before you sit there and go, okay, the Superman test is nice, but let's look at the charts. You don't know what the corners look like. Well, I did a chart test, an extensive chart testing. I tested the Viltrox, the Metabones, the Primes on a chart. And I tested at every single aperture up until 2.8. So from wide open to 2.8. That test, maybe I'll get around to it in a week or two. I've been busy shooting in the studio and uh, doing with different things. So anyways, back to this test with Superman. Keep in mind, the reason I did the Superman test was because it's a good representation of a human being, of course. The skin tone, the shadows, the way they fall on the face, the chin, the neck, and also the details. If you're looking at the details of the chest, there's a lot of details on the S and on the shoulders. But also secondary is the bokeh. Let's take a look at the bokeh. Let's see how those nice bokeh balls that everybody loves, how do they differ when not only between the um, micro four thirds native lenses, the primes, but also with the sigma. Let's see how each of them change with the apertures with different focal reducers. So anyways, now the big reveal, the results of what is what. You will be shocked. So here we have the Voigtlander wide open. Here we have it at 1.4 and finally 2.0. C is the Viltrox with the Sigma at 25 wide open, 1.4 and 2.0. Sample C is the Metabones with the Sigma set at 25 wide open. 1.4 and 2.0. D is the SLR Magic wide open, 1.4 and finally 2.0. F is the Metabone Sigma at 35 wide open. 1.4 and 2.0. E is the Viltrox with the Sigma at 35 wide open. 1.4, 2.0. Here we have the side by side. Look at the bokeh, look at the detail the different apertures
In my opinion, the Viltrox is a hair less sharper than the Metabones. If you look at Superman really closely on the chest area, on the S, you'll notice that it's less sharp. Very slightly. You'd have to pixel peep to see the difference. But I bought two Viltrox for 200 a combined price of $260 compared to one Metabones Ultra at $650. I'll, I'll take my chances with the Viltrox. Also, not to discount the SLR Magic 25mm or the Voigtlander 17.5mm. As I said, I've done plenty of, of shoots with these. They're amazing lenses. One of the criticisms of the, of the Pocket 4K has been that it's too sharp, that it looks too video-y. It doesn't look cinema. Well, cinema isn't that it's out of focus. It's just a little softer. So that's why if you look at the SLR Magic and the Voigtlander, they're a little bit softer. It's not that they're out of focus, but that's what we can typically consider the cinema look. So anyways, hopefully these results have blown your mind as they have mine. Stay tuned. I'll be getting that chart test out within a couple weeks. So remember, until next time, keep the magic alive. Take care.